what you're asking and, or, or inviting people to do here requires a lot of consciousness and also requires a lot of consciousness of our own value, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. Um, so but my worry is that a lot of people, a lot of us parents, you know, mothers particularly see our value only through the lens of our children, right? Like we're only valuable through them still. And so when you, I'm wondering about like, what do you do when you encounter somebody who's, who is, is not seeing that, that, that first step of like, what I do really matters and va is valuable, right? Do you, do you invite that person to maybe see their value through what they may offer their children if they are more <laughs> conscious and aware and they have mm -hmm. their own value or, or what, what do you say to that? Well, there's a number of things, Hunter, um, you know, to, sometimes as you're, you know, what you're saying is what, especially when this is a new concept or not, you know, immediately like, oh yeah, I get it, you know, kind of thing like, wait, my value is in, you know, my kids and, and that job, so to speak, that I kind of try and go at it a number of, of ways, but, you know, we always want to trick our brains, so to speak. You don't, the concept that we just talked about is big and kind of a, you know, a, a bit of a mind exploding one <laughs> as it is. Right. Yes. So then the thought of like, well, how am I going to do that? Or like, what, what do you mean? Um, is, you know, I try and like, look at it like, well, transforming yourself and looking at this is the best thing for your children. Like if you, you know, so you got to still keep the kid and that value in there. You can't, you know, suddenly like say you're going to push well, them sell aside. Me that. And Gertrude, sell me that. <laughs> if I'm the parent who is like, it's all about my kids. I don't, I'm not that important. It's all about my kids. Sell me why it is important for me to maybe make this a more a time where I'm I'm valuing myself. I'm I'm becoming more conscious. I'm becoming yeah. more intentional. All of those things because that takes time. That takes investment of time and energy and resources to to kind of do that kind of stuff. So so sell it to me, Gertrude. All right. Well, here's here's a couple. We'll see. If, we'll see if I can make some sales. Um, <laughs> So the first one would be, so Hunter, you care about your children, right? Mm -hmm. And you yes. want them to, I'm assuming, you know, we're having this conversation. You want the best for them. You want them to grow into, you know, human beings that value themselves and really, you know, care about themselves and, and have high self-worth, you know, self-esteem, self-efficacy, any of those self, yes, you know, yes, things. We, yes, we, they're the most important thing. Is there anything we want more, do. right? Yes. Well, who do you think your their best model and teacher is for that? Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess it's me. It's you, yeah. And and it's this funny thing like that that may make well okay. So did I make part a partial sale? Yeah, there? Yeah, if I got yeah, you, you interested, did. you got me okay. in the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the door with that one, right? Um, because you know who are they with the most? You know and and I think this is something we conveniently overlook um, because you know, all of a sudden that's a different pressure, right? Like, oh my gosh, they're watching my every move and yeah. I have to be perfect. And, you know, that's not it too. So then, you know, the next thing I say is you don't have to suddenly like become the most self-aware self-esteem, like in some, you know, moment, but the fact and any, any moments that you do invest your time or, you know, put yourself in those arenas will be felt. It will have an impact. Just the, just the trying, you know, just the, you know, any amount of effort, um, because it is showing that you matter. Oh, you know, and, and, and the really interesting thing is too, because parents will say like, oh, but my kids get so upset if I like take time away or, you know, I, I'm already mm -hmm. working or I feel guilty. It's yeah. Like they're, they're attention getting machines. Like they will always fight for the most time for you, but you know, this may be a bit of a harder sell to, yeah, to, to get, but I, I'll still put it out there that, you know, you having those boundaries and separation also helps, you know, build really important aspects of, you know, their, you know, this would be more in the like self-efficacy, the, the, you know, the, like, it's not always easy. 
I can do things on my own. You're helping them build, mm -hmm. you know, systems within themselves that they know they love being with mom and they can take care of themselves and, you know, building some of that independence in, which is so important also. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at mindfulmamamentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.